multiplying multiples of 10. One. All right, your objectives multiply by multiples of 10. Multiply dollars and cents by a two digit number and solve word problems involving multi digit multiplication. Okay, so many digits, several digits. Here we go. All right. In Lesson 71, remember multiples of 10 are the numbers we say when we count by 10s starting from 10. Notice that the last digit in every multiple of 10 is a 0, okay? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, whoops, someone, and I won't say who, forgot 80, <laughs> 90, 100, oopsie. All right, and then there's your dot, 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 which means and so on. We could go on forever, but we're just not going to. All right, so that's just kind of it. You notice, always with that zero. That's what makes it so fun. Beep. There. This is one right here, that one. <laughs> okay, so we can think of 20 as 2 times 10. So, because it is. It, 2 times 10 is 20. So for 34 times 20, we can do 34 times 2 times 10. It's kind of easy. 34 times 2 is 68, because I'm just doubling the number, times 10 is 680. Fast way to do it. It breaks down into easy steps, faster to calculate. All right. In example 1, let's see, let me go ahead and get there. It shows me write 25 times 30 as a product of 10, and then two other factors. Okay? So we know that 30 equals 3 times 10. Okay, so we can write 25 times 3 times 10. So 25 times 3 is 75 times 10, 750. Ooh, voila. See, math and French, you're learning something. Voila. Here we go. So is 25 and then this would mean times 3 times 10 the same as 25 times 10 times 10 times 10? Let's find out. All right, so 25 times 3 times 10 is 25 times 30, and as we have already done, it's 750. But 25 times 10 times 10 times 10, well, 10 times 10 is 100. 100 times 10 is 1,000. Yeah, that's not going to work. Okay, so the answer is no. It is not the same, so be careful with what you're doing know what you're doing. 3 times 10 is not 10 times 10 times 10. Okay? So when we multiply by a multiple of 10, we can write it this way. You can do 34 times 20. And you see how the zero kind of hangs out here? Uh, not everybody likes doing it this way. I don't care one way or the other. I think that it makes it nice and easy for you to go, oh, here's a zero. Let me just put this one down here. Just right down there. Done. So now, I don't even have to think about it. Done. And I can just multiply um, 34 times 2, or 4 times 2 is 8, 2 times 3 is 6, 680, done. Okay? So you bring down the 0, and you just multiply what's left. So you just bring down the 0, multiply what's left. Okay? It's a nice, easy way to do it. Now, in example 2, to complete a spelling test, 30 students each wrote 34 different words. Dang. How many spelling words will the teacher check all together? Okay, see, this teacher needs an assistant, but let's just pretend this is for real. Actually, this is real. All right, so you have 34 different words. You have 30 students. So how many spelling words is the teacher going to correct? So here's your 30. Again, all we're going to do is we're, this is going to say bye bye and we're going to bring it down there. Then we say 3 times 4 is 12, so we put our 12, carry the 1. 3 times 3 is 9, and 1 is 10. 1,020 words. Yikes. Check, please. Um, so what you could do here is do 34 times 10 equals 340, and then add it. Or you could do 34 times 3 is 102. 102 times 10 is um, 1,020. Okay? Then, for example, 3, a member of a school support staff ordered 23 ring binders for the school bookstore. If the cost of each binder was $1.43, what was the total cost of the order? All right, so in this one, we have $1.43 times 20, because there's $1.43, there's the times 20, okay? And so we hit put our 20 here, we go ahead and this is done. We don't have to multiply by that because we're just going to bring it right down. So there it is, 
okay? And then we multiply. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 1 is 2. And then because it's money, we count over two decimal places. 1, 2, and there it goes right there. $28.60. Multiples of 10. It's just fun. All right. For lesson practice, just do it. Practice what you've learned. Uh, we will do G together, though. All right? So you're going to write right 12 times 30 as a product of 10 and two other factors. So we can say 12 times 3 times 10 equals, and then 12 times 3 is 36, 36 times 10 is 3, 6, 0. Okay, so I just kind of wanted to do that one with you. All right, once you get your lesson practice done, and it's all multiples of 10, um, do your written practice and enjoy your math today. Enjoy your day. Remember, math is fun. You're doing great.